Hey everyone, Ryan Jennings from Tax Speaker. We've had a lot of interest in security and backup recently, thus the reason for our most recent newsletter. I wanted to go over once more, real quickly in a video form our four different backup modes, as well as a little more detail about the fourth one. It's something that is probably not a common knowledge item to most people, so I'll give a little demonstration and a little bit of information about it. So first, let's go back through our, our four backup options. Our first option is we do all of our backups to Dropbox. When I say that, we run all of our client data, our office data, and everything on our Dropbox account, uh, our Dropbox business account, and we have it synchronized with an offline version on our laptops, our desktops, and even a encrypted version up on Dropbox's website. Our second option that we do, or second layer, I should say, is we also run a backup copy of Dropbox on our USB hard drive. We'll do this once every couple weeks, once a month, depending on, on the time of year, and we do a incremental backup. So that way we will have a 200 to 300 gig Dropbox copy on our USB five terabyte hard drive. We will delete the oldest one, but we will keep say 20 different versions for the last year and a half of data on this hard drive at all time to give us a good buffer, a good safety margin on all of our old data. Our third layer that we do is we back up everything also, including our tax programs and accounting software, to a laptop. We keep it updated, all the newest and oldest versions. We keep this updated once a month, and we then put it in storage. So if something does happen to all of your other systems, or a tornado, a flood takes out your office, we have a ready-to-go system that's a few minutes away from being able to be used. Now our fourth option. This is the one where it's going to probably confuse most people. It's what's called a Faraday bag. The Faraday bag, which we have a video on how it is used and why it is used, is basically a mesh metal container to block out all the wireless signals that you will have in your office. For example, in our office here, we have a couple different wireless access points. We have tenants upstairs with their own wireless access points. We have Bluetooth phones, Bluetooth headphones. We have uh, the wireless uh, credit cards. We have uh, key fobs for our security on our doors. There's wireless all over the place here. What these bags will do is they block all the wireless signal from getting to any of the devices inside. This sounds kind of gimmicky, I know but there is a practical side of it. If we put any device in this bag, it is protected not just from any malicious intent on trying to access these devices remotely, it also is protected from environmental disasters. Say a lightning strike, something as crazy as a solar flare, it, it really just gives us an extra layer of protection. We also like to put these bags inside of a safe to give us some extra layer of fire and water protection, so we're protected from as much as we can. But just to prove that, that this is not just a, a, a gimmicky item that we're trying to, to show you, we have our own little wireless sensor. This will test for the amount of power that is in the air from ra radio signals all around. We took this sensor and our laptop bag up to, uh, up to my house out in the woods where there's very little signal. Let me just show you the video real quick and you can see the effectiveness of, of something like this. So we started with the laptop all sealed up and the sensor, which I know was, was out of focus, was reading 1.58. That is a very, very minimal of just background wireless. There's a cell phone tower not too far. Now when I pull out the laptop and turn it on, the sensor goes from 1.5, 1.6, to immediately going up to 400, 700. That just shows you how much wireless output the laptop is doing as soon as it turns on. We put the laptop back in the bag, the sensor goes back down immediately to only a 1.5, 1.6 again. You can see that it really did block all the different wireless signals leaving the laptop. It does just as good blocking the wireless signals going into the laptop, be it something as crazy as a solar flare or a, a random wireless hacker 
trying to get into your devices, it'll protect against all of those. Add this onto our existing backup suggestions for data security, then we really do feel like this brings an extra layer of peace of mind to your office. We have these at taxspeaker.com. You can go there for more information. For now, thank you for, from TaxSpeaker. I'm Ryan Jennings. Have a good one.